name is Margaret Felice and I'm recording here in Boston, Massachusetts. I'm an Assisi alum from 2013 and 2014 and I'm really excited and really grateful to Paul and Alexandra for the opportunity to participate in a virtual festival. And I have so many great memories of Assisi that I wanted to put together a couple songs um, to share with all of you that are representative of the wonderful time that I had there. So that first piece was In Quelle Trine Morbide from Manon Lescaut by Puccini. And it's not something that I ever performed there. It's a newer piece of mine, but it's so quintessentially Italian that I wanted to start with that. Um, when I did my first year in Assisi in 2013, I was in the concert production of The Magic Flute and I sang the role of Pamina. So the next aria that I'm going to share is her big aria from Magic Flute called Ahifus. And I'm really, really excited to be joined by Andrew Stewart, who along with his wife Zoe, was at the festival that year with us, with me. And he has a recording of um, himself accompanying that he is sharing through a new platform called Opera Tracks that I know he would be glad if you checked out. And he sent that to me and we put this all together for you. So I'm very excited to sing with my old friend Andrew Ahikfus. Thank you. 
great to sing with Andrew again. Thank you to my friend Tom Korzak for helping with editing that and to Andrew for suggesting that we collaborate virtually. Andrew and I had a lot of fun making music together in a CZ and the next piece is going to be another piece that we did together and it will be introduced with help from a special guest. Actually three special guests, your Garibaldi and my Garibaldi. I'm Robert Goulston, Margaret Felice's roadie of course. Robert, why don't you tell me a couple of the things that you miss about a CZ? Oh, the things I miss, those long trips I used to do, the day trips and make sure I was back for the concerts and of course Bob's after concert parties, I miss those a lot. Garibaldi's <laughs> and chips, what's better than that? Well, salute. Do you want to help me introduce the next song? We're going to show them Girl in 14G. From oh, them. that's one of my favorites. Ever since I got to the CZ, I've had so much trouble sleeping and I couldn't figure out why. Oh, right. Then I realized it's loud. Between the priests playing guitar, <laughs> the nuns dancing, and then there's life at the Hotel Soleil. Oh, <laughs>
song fun? That's one of my favorite ACZ memories, not just because it was on a beautiful evening in a beautiful concert venue, but because it was shared with so many of the awesome artists and fun people that make the festival as great as it is. The next piece I'd like to share is also from a work that I did in 2013, also with Andrew. Um, I'm going to sing the last movement of Mozart's Exultate Jubilate. I did the first movement with Andrew at a beautiful outdoor evening concert in 2013. Sadly, all the rest of the pieces are not going to have our wonderful Assisi Festival collaborators on piano. They're going to be sung with just tracks, but hopefully it'll be enjoyable, although not as enjoyable for me. So next up is the last movement of Mozart's Exultate Jubilate. For such a short piece, that is a workout. <laughs> Just give me one second. Oh, okay, now I'm ready. So again, that was the last movement of Mozart's Exultate Jubilate. Next up is a piece that I sang in 2014 in an afternoon concert of musical theater favorites with Paul on the piano. This is When I Marry Mr. Snow from Rodgers and Hammerstein's Carousel. His name is Mr. Snow, and an upstanding man is he. He comes home every night in his round bottom boat with a net full of herring from the sea. An almost perfect bow, as refined as a girl can wish. But he spends so much time in that round bottom boat that he can't seem to lose the smell of fish. The first time he kissed me, though, off with his clothes, knocked me flat on the floor of the room. But now that I love him, my heart's in my nose, and fish is my favorite perfume. Last night he spoke quite low. And a fair-spoken man is he. And he said, Miss Pipperidge, I'd like it fine if I could 
be wed with a wife. And indeed, Miss Pippridge, if you'll be mine, I'll be yours for the rest of my life. Next moment we were promised, and now my mind's in a maze, for all it can do is look forward to that wonderful day of days. When I marry Mr. Snow, the flowers will be buzzing with the trees. When I marry Mr. Snow, then it's off to home we'll go. And both of us will look a little dreamy-eyed, driving to a cottage by the ocean side, where the salty breezes blow. He'll carry me across the threshold, and I'll be as meek as a lamb. Then he'll set me on my feet, and I'll say kind of sweet, Well, Mr. Snow, here I am! Then I'll kiss him, so he'll know that everything will be as right as right can be, a living in a cottage by the sea. In addition to being fun and funny and beautiful and great to sing, Mr. Snow has very special significance for me because um, after that concert on an afternoon in Assisi in 2014, my husband and I took a short walk down to the Basilica of Santa Chiara, which is a very special place for us, and he proposed. Uh, we went back that night and had dinner at the Hotel Sole. We got a special blessing from the priest that was joining us. We got the congratulations and the well wishes of all of our friends. And it is, you won't be surprised when I tell you that it is one of our most wonderful memories of our time in Assisi and such a great gift to share it with everyone that was there. Um, I hope Robert enjoyed hearing that song. Maybe for the first time I know he was not, um, able to pay super close attention during that concert because he was a little preoccupied with what he had planned for after the concert. We had this joke um, that when we got engaged there would be confetti. So Robert had confetti ready in his pocket to throw up in the air when he proposed, but he realized um, while we were singing that it um, he hadn't opened it. So he was gonna have trouble with his big moment. So he was trying to open the confetti really quietly in his pocket while we all were singing. So he was a little preoccupied. And then when the big moment came, he got so excited that he just kind of chucked the confetti in my face. But, you know, happily married now, so it's good. I had on my protection, so it was great. That same summer of 2014, we did The Marriage of Figaro, and I sang the role of the Countess. So the last piece that I'm going to share with you today is Dove Sono i Bei Momenti, one of the Countess's arias from The Marriage of Figaro. Hey, Susanna, non vien. Sono ansiosa di saper come il conte accolse la proposta. Oh, 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 
dopo avermi con un misto ed ardito l'infedeltà di gelosia, di sdegni, prima amata. Indi offesa e alla fin tradita. So again, that was Dove Sono i Bei Momenti from Mozart's Marriage of Figaro. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you to everyone who 
put together this online festival, everyone else who shared their amazing work over the last couple of weeks. As I mentioned, special thanks to Alexandra and Paul for putting this together and also great thanks to everyone on whose shoulders we stand, all of the people who um, put this together over the years, people like Gregory and Bob and the many other current and former board members. Uh, the CZ Festival really has a special place in my heart and our hope is that someday we'll be able to be back there again. So thank you again so much for watching. Thank you to everyone who made this festival possible and next time in a CZ. Ciao tutti, ci vediamo.